Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is John, and we're out here uh, ice fishing on Lake 16. Uh, we just saw a couple fish swim by our lures. We're all set up. Uh, got our heat going. We're going to catch us some fish. Going to catch us some fish. Thanks for joining the adventure. Oh, listen to that wind howl. We're just out here on the coldest day of the year. They Ice fishing. They say could be the coldest day in recorded history. It's not that bad inside of Shanty. It's not bad inside of Shanty. In the wind, it's supposed to be like negative 30, negative 50, somewhere in there. We're just looking through some ice holes. Got some minnows down there. Uh, John already had one on, but it flopped off. But uh, we've seen some fish. It's always good to see fish when you're out on the ice. Right? When you're fishing. Yeah, it's just, we don't we don't <laughs> always see the stuff we're going after, so it's good that we've seen some fish already. But out here for a couple hours, uh, we're just gonna keep at it. Just nice, relaxing, hanging out, catching fish, drinking beers. Gonna catch fish, drink beers. Yeah, my adventure life model. So we had this decoy down uh, when the fish came in, and uh, I moved a little, and it kind of scared them off. So I'm thinking maybe the decoy is a little much. And we're just gonna swap out for a little treble hook and put a put a minnow on it. Give it a few twists. So that's just your standards, fisherman's knot. Put a little treble hook, and then we reach into our bait bucket down here. Try and find one of the big ones. Hook through the back. There we go. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's real blown out. It is uh, probably 20 mile per hour winds and like negative 10. Just sitting down to a little lunch. Been out here for, you know, three hours or so, four hours maybe. It's getting chilly and windy, but heater's still kicking. Oh, is that one of them adult Lunchables? It is an adult Lunchable. John's got, himself, John's got himself an adult Lunchable. How adult it is, but... I just got a couple wraps from the gas station. We're gonna hang out and eat some lunch and uh, wait for some more fish. Maybe we'll set some tip-ups uh, if this wind dies down a little. Is the wind supposed to die down? Always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll probably swap the heater tanks out soon because as the heater tanks discharge propane they get cold then they discharge less propane and they get less warm so we've been warming up another can in front of this heater let me get some light on this been warming up this other can in front of the heater there we go got some ice forming even more than we had see our breath so we're gonna try and get the heater going but listen to that wind man It is just beating on us. It's snowing. <laughs> Look at all that ice. So we're gonna probably swap that heater out. Oh, our minnows are trying to run away. There's gotta be something down here. You seeing something down here? Uh, he went over yonder. Toward me? Yeah. He was not interested in mine. He was a big guy. How big? Bigger than your decoy? Oh. Stay tuned, ladies and gents. Maybe we'll get us a fish. Come on. Come on. Eat me a little minnow. Oh, okay. He's trying. Oh, he took him. He's swallowing. Oh, wow, is he big. Oh, did he eat it? 
we got some fish around us. Oh, I got him! Look at that guy. It's a little, little perch. That's actually good to go. We can keep that. It's like we know what we're doing. It's almost like we know what we're doing. You want to keep him? Let's keep him. Look at that guy. Cool. Cool. Look at that. 20 more of those and we got a dinner. Let's get uh, more fish. So Drew's over here getting his tip ups ready. Yeah, man, the wind's died down just a little. So we're gonna see if I can't scramble out some tip ups without getting frostbite. Just got a little double hook on there. So you're just trying to harness your minnow in so that when a big old fish comes in and bites it, Oh my god. It's got some options. Oh, I hooked him backwards. I don't care. It's cold. You got this one? I got this one. You doing it right? No. But I got it. All right. So now I'm gonna run out into the cold and try and sput out our holes that we drilled earlier and set up our little Celsius tip-ups, which I can't film because it's too cold and they'll kill the camera and John has to stay in here and the shanty blows away. So I'll see you when I get back. I just put them in the two closest holes to the shanty. Unfortunately, we pointed the shanty the wrong way and I can't actually see them, so I'll have to stick my head out and look from time to time. Oh uh, well. John's discovering one of the uh, finer points of ice fishing. All fishing, really. The snafu. Snafu. Situation normal. All fucked up. So we're just gonna work out this little cluster. Get back to fishing so we can catch more of them perch. Got one down there. Ate about half that minnow. If he can just take the rest, he will be mine. Oh, I'm gonna try and take him up. Ah! I lost him at the edge. Oh, there's more. There's always more. That's three strikes we've had today, though. So we're one for three. That's pretty good. We're not skunked. Man, we keep having stuff come in and hit and release. I'm thinking we might have to change jigs. Maybe a little bigger hook. We're trying though. You having a good time, John? Oh yeah. Oh, can't see ya. You having a good time, John? Yeah. <laughs> He's down there. He mm -hmm. sucked in most of that fish, but except for the tail. I'm just waiting for him to get that tail in before I do anything about it. Watch out for my line. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm just laying on the bottom. Kind of hanging out. Can you see him through your hole? He's right between the holes. Yeah. Just wanted to finish the tail. Then I'm gonna bring him up. Keep messing this stuff up. God, I want to take him so bad. But I lost the last two. It's probably digesting him. Right. Oh, oh, he's going. I'm gonna have to take him. Got him. Got him. God, he's not hooked great. Oh, well, maybe he is. Oh yeah, he's completely digesting that hook. There we go. Got another one. That's two. Cool. Good job. Let's do more. John told me that one of the flags went off. I went out and checked it. Got ourselves a little northern pike. It's only about 22 inches though. They keep all the sides 24. So we're going to put them back, let them get bigger. All right though, we're doing good. Right. We got back from ice fishing. Uh, we saw a pike after we caught the last one. 
uh, where we actually caught a pike on the tip up. Uh, too small, so we threw it back, waited about an hour. Then it got dark, so we decided to come back. We got our two fish that we did catch, our two perch. Uh, we're going to prep them up and cook them and eat them. It was really getting too dark and cold to film because the camera batteries die real quick in the cold, but you know, we got back to the house, gutted, scaled, beheaded these two perch that we decided to keep. We caught a few fish, but these are the ones we kept. Uh, and we're just going to put some butter and red pepper seasoning and garlic salt and white pepper and a little coating of honey. Tin foil on a pan in an oven for, I don't know. 10 minutes, whatever. Timer went off. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, they're looking good. Let's go. I'm just gonna take that out. Oh, there we've got our perch, man. Look at that. They look gorgeous. You excited? I'm super excited. A fork. They smell delicious. Kara's excited. I'm gonna try that out, John. Oh, yeah? Little bony. Oh, yeah? Really bony? Yeah. Oh. But it is really good, too. That's okay. We'll just pull the bones out. Mm hmm. So that's it, man. If you liked this video, or if you didn't, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, this is MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching.